Hey there, artist Caleb here, back with another gouache quick painting. And um, we're going to do a little uh, scene here of this red fence and the forest just beyond it. Now, I think I did this sometime back in the fall, so it's been sitting on my hard drive for, mm, well, all winter now. So it's about time that I just, uh, well, just went through this. How's everybody doing, by the way? I hope you're doing fantastic. Uh, things have been going pretty well. I mean, um, I got sick a few times, and uh, so that wasn't fun, but I think it typically happens, you know, just after the winter and or just after the New Year's and stuff like that. But uh, doing pretty well now and, and um, having lots of fun. Oh, by the way, in this painting, I, I make a, a mistake right away. And the mistake is, on the road, I should have um, I should have painted the shadows going across the road before I started painting the individual pickets on the, the, the red pickets here on the fence. I, sh I should have painted those shadows. But, um, I don't know, I forgot, I guess. <laughs> it's okay, I, I go back and amend that mistake, but it would have made life a lot easier think at the time. I think at the time that I was recording this that I was using uh, M. Graham and Company gouache and I typically just use the primary colors and um, I might throw in a burnt ochre or a, a raw umber as well. So those are nice to have. Of course you can just mix those up but um, they're just really convenient to have. So. This little painting right here, and the road, and that little picket fence, remind me of a long time ago when I used to explore old abandoned farmhouses in the Midwest. And the Midwest is just chuck full of those old things. Of course, you have to go looking for them. And they're usually tucked away off in some, you know, murky, dark little forest surrounded by farmland. But you'll find them. Well, at least you used to be able to. I don't know if they're still out there. I would imagine that they are, but it's just been a long time since I used to do that sort of thing. And uh, it was quite the adventure. It was, it was a lot of fun. And you just never knew. You just you never knew what you were going to find. Um, some of them would still have old stuff in them, you know, the old wooden desks and tables and chairs and you know, drawers full of newspaper clippings and old comics and marbles and uh, pens and pencils and, you know, who knows? And then some of them were just completely abandoned and given up to the cows, you know? I, I found some old farmhouses that had been uh, just trampled and upstairs and down covered with mud and you know, trampled manure, and <laughs> I mean, you know, that old house is gone, it's dead, it's toast. And then some of them are just time capsules. Fascinating. You know, you'd find old newspapers laying around and, and uh, with articles about what was happening during the war. You know, I'm talking World War II here, you know. And I, I don't think I'd ever found any farmhouses that had... Uh, articles and stuff that were older than that but you know usually around the war or so probably because uh, shortly after that period is when new houses were being built and those old farmhouses were being um, you know abandoned and uh, they just kept them there and then just let them melt down into the elements and I think after a while probably a lot of people even forgot that they were there Oh yeah, you may have noticed, by the way, that the background changed. Uh, that's because uh, the light started to fade while I was painting this, and so I just moved it in inside. Gosh, yeah, the spring's starting to come in here. And it's only just barely started, so the little buds and stuff on the, on the trees and the branches are just starting to, just starting to sprout. And at some point, all the leaves will just go, Foom! You know, they'll just, and everything will be all, and it'll even make that noise. All the leaves will literally just one day, or one night, maybe we'll be laying in bed, and all the leaves will go, 
and they'll just all be there, you know? <laughs> um, I think that's how it works. At least that's how it seems, because I don't tend to notice until all the leaves are like, <laughs> you know? Does that make any sense to you? Do they ever do, do they do that where you are? Leaves? When they, when they pop out finally in the summer and spring, they, <laughs> like that? No, wait, they don't make that sound because that's when they fall off. When they fall off, they all, they all go, <laughs> what in the world am I doing? I don't know. I'm going mad out of my mind, I guess. That's pretty common for artists, though, isn't it? Well, yeah, sadly, it looks like we're coming toward the end of this video, the end of the painting. But gosh, we've talked about so many things. We've had such a fruitful conversation about leaves and gouache, and here it is. There's the painting. What do you think? I, I hope you like it. Oh, I did touch it up a little bit at the end there with uh, um, uh, with a watercolor pencil to just uh, in the shadows across the... Shut up, Caleb. Anyway, uh, okay, big hugs. And listen, I love you, okay? And uh, I hope you enjoyed this, and I really hope to see you again really soon. Okay, bye-bye. Take care.